Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to install VCBox Server version 10. It's the latest stable version of VCDial as of now, that is October 2021. VCBox Server is the official installation CD for the VCDial call center suite. If you don't know what is VCDial call center suite, uh, you can refer to my other video that I have here. I will put the link in the description. Feel free to watch it. I'm Omid, an open source enthusiastic, and I'm working as voice over IP engineering. My main expertise is in the Linux and voice over IP systems. Feel free to contact me. This is my blog and my LinkedIn page. Let's go to agenda for this video. The first step is operating system installation. VCBox is using OpenSOSE as operating system. After we have installed the operating system, we will need to set the correct time zone. Accurate timing is crucial in real-time communication such as voice. And you know VCBox is all about voice communication. In the third step, we will learn how to configure a network, how to set IP address, how to set uh, default gateway, and also we will update the system before we install the VC dial. Step four is to install VC box using a special method. We call it VC dial express installation. You will see how easy is that. Finally, we will do some post installation tasks and we will log in as admin. What do you need in order to continue this training? VirtualBox. Virtual, we are using VirtualBox as our virtualization technology here. So if you don't have it on your system, please download and install VirtualBox. In the next videos, I will teach you how to install VCDial on a cloud platform such as DigitalOcean or AWS as well. But for this video, we will install VirtualBox to do the installation. Let's start. For downloading VCBox server, you can go to the vcbox.org website. As of now, the latest version is 10.0.0. You will get information about what packages this VCBox server will install automatically. The operating system, which version of kernel, the asterisk the telephony package, the DAHD or DGOM Asterisk hardware device interface that is using for the uh, telephony cards if you want to connect your VCBox server to the uh, PSTN using uh, telephony cards, the libpri that is using for the E1 uh, connectivity for the PRI, and also other packages for VCBox and firewall, the required codec, the SSL certificate, also the WebRTC VC phone. This is a phone that you can use a dial, you can use the web browser to actually uh, dial, and uh, it has a very um, good installation manual that you can process. Actually, we are going the same steps as you can see in the VC installation manual as well. So the first step is to download the VCBox STD installation. So if you click here, the ISO file will be downloaded. Okay, after your um, installation is downloaded, you can go to the VirtualBox. As I said, we are using VirtualBox here for this training. You can click on a new VM. Let's name, name it as VCBox V10. Uh, we are using the Linux operating system here. And the distribution is open source and it is 64 bit. We assign the RAM, you can assign 2 GB or 4 GB uh, or based on the resource that you have, but not less than 2 GB. So I'm assigning 4 GB on my system, create a VirtualBox hard disk now, and then we set as VDI. Dynamic allocated, we don't need to allocate fixed size for this installation. And let's give it a space of 80 GB because it's not using actually 80 GB. And we create it. 
Okay, now we can uh, edit the settings of our um, virtual machine. So I click on the settings. You can change the settings or RAM, CPU, or allocations. Uh, here, for example, I don't need any. I don't need any floppy disk. Also, yes, we don't need to change any of the options. I want to load my ISO file, so I'm clicking here and I'm adding a an optical drive. So as you can see, I have already added, but you can click here and then add your, uh, select your VisualBox VC box ISO file and then open it and choose. So it's already here and press OK. And then now you can start your uh, virtual machine. It will ask if you want to use the same ISO file as your installation media. Yes, we want to use the VCBox version 10 CD. We start it and our virtual machine will start. So the first step is actually to uh, select that we want to install VCBox version 10. So we are selecting install VCBox version 10 and we click enter. It will take a little time to load the files. It will warn you that uh, it will destroy all the data. Of course, we are using it on a virtual machine, so we have no concern about that. We click yes. It will load the VCBox ISO. Here, it wants to detect the network interface. This is one of the important steps. Um, based, on the, based on your configuration on the virtual box, you can set the network interface. If you go to the network settings, we can set based on the NAT mode that it will get an IP address from uh, your system, or you can put it into the bridge mode. Bridge mode will get an IP address from your switch or from your uh, wireless modem. So it, it is like a system in your uh, network. So we prefer to put it on bridge network and because I'm using a wireless network here, it will bridge with my wireless network. So let's say that bridge. And we log in. The default username is root and the default password is VC dial. Okay, so the first step is to select system locale. What is the type of keyboard? Uh, select the default one if you don't know. What is your type of keyboard? The auto detection is works very well here. Here you need to actually uh, accept the license. You can read the license. And you accept yes then here you can select your time zone i'm living in beautiful malaysia so i'm using asia and uh, kuala lumpur select based on your time zone enter root password So it's restarting the network. And set the network, as I said, to the bridge mode before this stage. So that when it restarts the network, it gets an IP from your network. Okay, now we are in to the system. The next step is actually is uh, setting the time zone and also network configuration and update. Okay, now it's time to set the time zone. Uh, we can for setting the time zone. Okay, before I set in the time zone, I want to make this window a little bigger. If you go to the view virtual screen, we can make it a little bigger. Okay, that's better. So uh, for setting the time zone, you can use the command 
VC box time zone. As it is the first time that uh, system wants to download a package, it will update the repo list. So it will update the list of websites that uh, this package is downloading uh, the packages from. So it will take a little time. Be patient here. Okay, here you can select your time zone. I'm selecting the Asia. With tap, you can go to the other side. And I'm selecting Kuala Lumpur. Okay, let the hardware class set to UTC. Yes, let it be on. And then with tap, come to the OK and click OK. Okay, time zone is set. Next step is to set network configuration for setting up the network configuration in VCBox you can lose you can use the YAST package YAST LAN so you just type YAST LAN YAST space LAN and then you will enter the uh, network configuration it's recommended that you set a, a static IP address because whenever you are rebooting the server you don't want the IP to be changed so by tap you can click on the edit and then by tab you can set for a static IP address for selecting you can click you can press space and then enter your IP address I'm putting as 120 for myself and then your subnet mask and the name. I will let it be hostname as VCBox Tensoza. You can change to your hostname. And also, we click next. Also, for changing the hostname and DNS, you can click at the top you can actually with tab you can come to the host name uh, select if you want to change the host name you can change the host name here and also set a time server any time server any dns server in your network for example 111 or any secondary i'm using the public dns servers and also routing sorry you need to come with tab and then press the arrow to go to the routing I want to give it a default gateway so I click add and then I will set my default gateway as 1.216801 you need to check with your system administrator what is your uh, default gateway in your network and then press OK And OK. It will take a little time to configure the firewall and restart the network service. And done. OK, so the IP is configured. How we can check that? If you type the command if config. Sorry, I had a typo. If C O N F I G. You can see that my IP address is changed to 192.168.0.120. The network interface is ETH0 and the network interfaces in Linux start with the number of zero. So it is Ethernet. Our first Ethernet is ETH0. To test, we can ping our gateway address. Okay, yes, we can see our gateway and if your gateway is uh, Correct, then you should be able to access the internet as well. Let's internet one of our DNS servers. And as you can see, yes, you are able to ping our DNS server. The next step is the update. So you need to ensure that you have internet access for the next step. To update the 
operating system before we install the VC box we can use the command zipper z y double p e r ref this will update our repo list the websites that we are downloading packages from as i have just downloaded the latest version of course here i don't have any update but uh, if you download later and we have some updates it will update your repo list uh, to update the operating system we are using zyper up and as you can see yes we have i have some updates 18 packages need to be updated here it may be different in your system and most of them are the Perl packages so yes i'm clicking yes and it will download the packages and it will automatically download and install the packages and update my system okay uh, the system is updated the next step before we go to the um, visible installation is in this stage is to reboot our system so you can enter reboot and then press enter to reboot our virtual machine okay so now we are in the um, boot screen again but uh, before because we have loaded the cd-rom of course you can boot from the hard disk but i want to actually uh, stop the virtual machine let's power it off and remove the iso file because i want to show you that okay the operating system is has already installed and you don't need the cd or the iso file again so you click on the settings and then you click on the storage and then you select and remove the attachment so we don't need vcbox servers anymore so the operating system is already installed here and we power it on so we just removed the, it's not a mandatory stage but it's better to remove it so every time we don't need to accidentally if you select a cd-rom don't go to the installation so just you can wait it will automatically select in four seconds and as you can see it will load the opens with the operating system so the operating system is already installed the time zone is set and uh, you have already updated the uh, system as well the login now as you can see the it is our the ip address is static as 192.168.0.120 this is the ip address that i have set in the previous uh, stage so i will enter the username and this time the password is not vcdial the password is the password that you have set during the installation the first time that we have login it asks you for the root password so you need to enter the password that you have set okay that's it now we are ready for vcbox installation to install the vcbox in a vc uh, dial express mode we can just enter the uh, command vcbox express if you click tap it will automatically fill that so vcbox dash express and enter as you can see vcbox version 10 in installer vcbox explained uh, express mode activated it says do you want to install using the vcdial express of course it has the um, information about the vcdial express mode just select enter y and enter so it will automatically get the required source code from the latest codes and it will configure your telephony server it will configure the database and all everything actually is automated okay and that's it as you can see uh, now our system is ready you can you need to reboot the system again the previous reboot uh, 
was needed because when you are updating the operating system sometimes it's upgrading the kernel as well it's better to reboot the system before you install the vc box this one is actually the second reboot that we are doing here it's more to start all services properly vc dial uh, vc box installs a database web server and other items that uh, when you are rebooting it will be uh, start in sequence okay after reboot you just can let it go or you just enter to enter to the vc dial server again and yes your vc dial server is ready now you can open a browser and okay now your vc dial server is ready the ip address is 192.168.0.120 you can open a web browser and enter the ip address 0.120 and as you can see yes the vc dial server is installed so you can select administration the default username is uh, 6666 and the default password is 1234 so the default username is uh, 6666 and the password is 1234 so here it's easy actually you can read the licenses and also click on the continue to initial, initial setup um, of course 1234 is not a secure password so you can set a new password here um, it's better to be a secure combination of actually lowercase uppercase so let's say we put it as uh, vc box one two three shift one two three and it's a combination of capital and uh, box it's not a strong set a strong password and then click submit that's it now click on logout and again click on the administration part and this time you need to enter with new password that's it this uh, box is installed and you are logged into the admin panel uh, the installation is done and uh, yes we will do some configurations in the next videos and we will see how we can configure phones how we can configure agents different type of campaigns etc thank you